so for today i will be giving you seven perks of having or teaching with the cullen method badge guys this is my first vlog i decided to make this vlog because i have been receiving a lot of inquiries from different teachers who have been offered to teaching or to teach the Kellen badge so um wala ako masyadong oras mag-reply pa sa isa kasi teacher din ako i also need to earn but i do try my best to answer everyone everyone's queries but yeah so i'm sorry in advance if i cannot reply i am a night owl so usually gabi ako nasa klase these days because my body clock is getting crazy these days so yeah so let's jump into the video <laughs> so for today i will be giving you seven perks of having or teaching with the cullen method badge okay so first and foremost of course you are us native camp teachers specifically in the in the home base we are our our book lessons are much higher compared to certain classes okay so first perk is that all color lessons are reserved okay so in native camp there are four textbooks that the student would really need to reserve for them to take these classes so Three of them are the different types of Kellen, the regular Kellen, yung my 12 stages, okay? Second is the kids Kellen, so when the work itself is for kids, okay? So, um, I think uh, teachers who will be invited to teaching with this badge in the near future, you need to have experience already with the, with the, with teaching, with the Kellen method, and also kids course, because it's mixed up. So, Kids Kalan, it's very easy to teach because it's for kids, so the so the terms or the words, the head words are very easy. Parang in my experience before, there are only four stages of the Kalan method. Tapos ngayon nag upgrade na siya, naging six stages na siya. So it's very easy. Parang stage one, stage two, and stage three. Nandun na lahat sa six stages sa Kids Kalan. So it's very easy to teach. Third is Business Kalan. So most of the students here are already advanced, so students cannot take um, business Kalan unless they reach, I think, stage 8. The students who take up business Kalan are already advanced students. So, it's either they have finished um, all the stages of the Kalan method because for me, business Kalan is a little bit complicated to teach because it uh, most of the questions are long, para siyang stage 13 <laughs> ng regular Kalan. And most of the questions are based on the student's opinion. Maraming why why, maraming, maraming um, long sentences. And then you would also require the student to open the book while um, at the middle of the lesson para mag-reading. Mag Pero hindi yung 5 minutes na reading sa regular ni Kalan. So yun. Tapos, fourth is Aiken. Okay, so these four textbooks, if you have these four badges rather, it's more likely your slots are fully booked. Okay, so yun. So again, perk number one, all the classes in Kalan are reserved. So second perk of becoming a Kalan teacher is that you would have more chances to get all the incentives. Okay, so more likely if of course, based on the first perk of being a talent teacher, most of your classes are reserved. So more likely, you would be able to have the B8 ranking, which is 104 per book class. Okay, and of course, you would have more chances to be an elite teacher. Okay, which uh, the highest that you can get per month is 5,000 pesos. And also, if you're uh, if you're also aiming for the no cancellation incentive, you can also get to have another 550. And of course, these days I have been noticing that Native Camp has a lot of promos when it comes to the teaching the Kalan Method badge. So last month, a teacher can get thirty dollars if this certain teacher was able to conduct two hundred Kalan lessons. And also for this month, there's another. Um, promo wherein a teach if a teacher can can conduct 200 Kalan lessons the teacher can also get this incentive but I'm not sure I will just put it somewhere here yeah and that's the second perk 
you have a lot of chances you have more chances to get the incentives okay so third is that Kalan is a fast-paced lesson okay time flies so fast when you are teaching with the Kalan method time flies so fast you wouldn't even notice that you have already conducted five lessons because in my case um, parang I got used to it already. Reason number four, okay? So, you are the boss in the lesson, okay? So, part of the Kalan rules is that students are not allowed to ask questions during the lesson. So, regardless if they understood what they are saying or not, the teacher needs to continue, okay? You cannot do free talking classes in Kalan. If it's Kalan, it's really strict since it is a method we need to follow certain rules, okay? So, Unlike regular lessons, students can can ask questions like, what happened to this teacher? Why is this um, the, the grammar? Why is this pronounced this way? So it's not allowed in Kalan. Okay, so parang in, in, in Kalan classes, it seems like you're the boss. But um, you can demand to the student to, to answer immediately the moment um, you have already asked the question. So para sa akin, you're really the boss. I love teaching Kalan because it's direct, it's fast, and also walang masyadong questions to student. Yes, yes. The use of the chat box is limited. So basically, the chat box will only be used for the progress. Okay, at the beginning of the lesson, you put the progress, the question and answer, and then the reading. And then the last part, you also use the chat box to confirm or to put the progress of the student's progress for today so that the student would be able to confirm it then for um, the student's next lesson. Good. Okay, so um, part number five, teaching the Cullen method is the wrap. Okay, from the word itself, like, parang, yun ang palagi kong naririnig. Kalan method is a direct way of teaching. So, when you say direct, direct your, direct your instructions, like, repeat, listen, let's practice, yun. Okay, not pencil, pencil. So, it's direct, okay? So, again, no further explanations. Um, also, the student, if the student is asking you questions about the lesson, you have every right to tell the student that, um, this is Kalan method. It's part of the Kalan rules. Um, if you do have any questions, please um, book another class or enter another teacher's class for those teachers to answer their questions or their queries. That is it for uh, part number five. So this time, let's have part number six. Okay, so, per so for part number six, you learn something while teaching. Okay, so to be really honest, when parang nababaliw ako nung first time ko mag-teach ng Kalan, parang natatakot ako. But when I tried to continuously do the method or teach with the method, I've learned a lot. So nung nag-regular classes na ako, na-memorize ko na yung mga questions or bakit naging ganito yung grammar, ganito, ganyan. So when I came back to teaching with um, the regular lessons, yung grammar beginner, grammar advanced, hindi na ako masyadong nag-open ng Google. Marami din ako natutunan sa Kalan, especially for a lot of grammar rules or different pronunciations or and how are you going to use this into a sentence. You can really learn a lot when you're teaching with the Kalan method. It's not only the students who would learn something from us, but we can also learn something from the student as well as we can learn something from the method. Yeah. So this time, let us have um, part number seven. So for part number seven, you would have more students. So more likely, you would not be waiting for a student to enter your class. Okay. So Kalan badge are only offered to qualified teachers. So before, I have noticed that the Kalan badge before was only offered to to us office-based teachers because I'm also an office-based teacher while I'm working as a home-based teacher. So the two job ko same lang, but I do have two accounts in Native Camp. Okay, so the Kalan badge before was only given to office-based teachers. Later on, I think um earlier last year 2019 or later 2019 it was offered to some teachers and also when the pandemic started a lot of home-based teachers were offered to teaching with the with the Kalan method which for me is very very good 
okay? Because for me, masaya itich ang kalan. <laughs> less stress, less hassle. It's just that you really need to focus during the lesson because yun ang um, mataas ang expectations ng students when you teach with the kalan method, okay? So since kalan lessons would always be a reserve class, okay? Um, in one Kalan lesson, in one reserve lesson in Native Camp, you would have 25 minutes. Okay, so you have 20, 20 minutes for question and answer, then you work. And the last five minutes of the lesson would be reading already. Okay, so come to think of it, as a teacher, you just need to, during the reading part in, the, in Kalan lessons, the, the teacher will just listen to the student, and then the student will just read. You just correct them by CBI, and then you're just going to relax. And then after the class, you send the student progress. After that one, you're going to go on standby and then wait for a class. So just imagine 10 minutes break and then 20 minutes class. Okay, so for me, it's very relaxing. I don't know. <laughs> Teaching with the Kellen method, you would have more chances in getting more regular students. Okay. In my own honest opinion, us teachers, we have different teaching styles, we have different teaching strategies, which makes us very special and very unique from one another. The student would really find a teacher that would fit their their needs. Okay, So for me, pag nakita ni student that this teacher is would fit to my abilities or the teacher can, can, can adjust to my to my English skills, so more likely magiging regular niya si student. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> that's the seven. That's the seven perks of having the Kalan Method badge that I have collated. Okay, so if you want to add more, please don't hesitate to comment it down below in the in the comment section. And I do hope that you guys would have fun teaching with the Kellen method and um, some of my home-based teacher friends have been offered to teaching with the Kellen method if you are offered to teaching with the Kellen method please do grab it i'm pretty sure a lot of teachers a lot of Kellen teachers will also guide you i am hoping that you are going to really experience the fun in Kellen like what i have experienced before and up to now so you know guys, so if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos about Native Camp, about Kellen and so on. So if you do have any comments, suggestions, please do type it in the in the comment section below. And again, it's Shappy. I will see you guys soon. Bye!